all these doors. Oh yeah, these are individual rooms. They're tiny. Hey, Ramblers. All right, we are back. Getting ready to head to this uh, former asylum that closed about four years ago. We've actually found another building that we can get into. Uh, we think it's probably been also closed down longer than the four years ago that the whole facility closed. But we're on this little trail here. Along this river, we've got to go up the steep bank, way up the mountain to get to the top area where the asylum is. This is part one of our second visit to this huge abandoned asylum complex that fully closed in 2020. The facility has a tainted history of eugenics and forced sterilizations from the early to mid 1900s. It gained a much better reputation in its later years after the prevailing doctrine turned more toward humane care and rehabilitation. The building we explore in this video seems to have become disused in the late 1970s, but there is evidence at some point there were plans to use it again before the whole facility closed. Like most in this complex, this building has not been touched by vandals and we are the first to explore and document it. Join us to see what is left behind. top of the hill on the edge of the complex. This is house here that's like kind of like an administration type building. I've actually been inside of it. And there's kind of a warehouse type building. We're going to go around all that. And we're going kind of towards the center. Actually past the center area to the building we're going to today. There is security. They patrol about every hour they drive around. So we're just going to keep our eye out and duck down if needed. Okay, so we're kind of exposed. You get up to this building and get behind it. Make sure the coast is clear before we go to the next building, which will be over there. Hi, right, we're beside this building. If we checked this building before, there's no way in yet. But eventually, all the wood will start rotting. We've got to get across the, there used to be the little main street. There is an active building where security stays. So we need to watch out for that. We're going up here and to the right. Alright, I'm going to make a break for it. Across the road here. So we're going to be most exposed. Now let's go down here. Oh. 
See, they do cut the grass here once in a while. If we hear something, a mower off in the distance, we're not sure if it's on this property or on private property, but we're keeping our eyes out for maintenance and security. Okay, that is the building we're going to. So that one big open area to get through. That area down there has power. I think that's where security stays. So we're gonna just bust across here and get in quick. They just mowed this. Maybe today. Or yesterday. So we're perfect timing. Alright, there's a road there, so I want to be careful. So we'll drive down through there. But this is where we're going. This little fence, so we can get over. Okay, we're in. Let's take a look. Oh, bathroom. Checkered floor. So toilets one that's by itself. And shower. Okay, that's oh it's actually a shower with a hose. Attachment. It's first time I've seen that with a metal bowl at the bottom. Huh. I got it. Fuck you, phone. Oh. All right. I'm going to go like a big kind of day room type thing. So. Ladder. It's really open. Yeah, this place definitely closed long before the actual facility closed because that was four years ago, but this is definitely longer. This place opened in the, well, the first building were, was like in the late 1800s and then they built on and on and on. It was a huge asylum complex. And it started to like decline in the 90s and 2000s and finally was closed in 2020. The last patient was taken out and now it's all empty. <gasps> the Rambler, what the, that is so perfect. For the Ramblers. Are you serious? Yes, it says the Rambler. What the fuck? Oh my god, that's awesome. Oh my god, August 28th, 1977. Alright, there's a way out, but of course it's blocked off. This is storage. Oh, another bathroom. Oh, this one has the weird hose too, a longer hose. That is just really weird. 
all the asylums we've been into, I've never seen a shower with a hose on it like that. I kind of feel like this bathroom was like an afterthought, afterthought too, because... I don't think that was original. Oh, also, the controls are on the outside for the showers. All right, so we're gonna head upstairs now. That's pretty much the whole basement. Now upstairs. Oh, it's all wooden floors. It's an old water fountain. Kind of a big day room. Let's see, Let's see what's over here. All right, those are stairs going up. We'll go up to the next floor after we finish this floor. I don't need light now. Yeah, it's kind of a big day room. You can see the old heat registers. Discard after 72 hours. Hmm. Not sure what that was for, but they're all over the floor. Whatever that is. You can see the ceiling has come down here, but it's been cleaned up. So that probably came down before they closed the place. You can see bits of the ceiling have fallen here, which is still on the floor. The last time was 2.49. Oh, another day room. Oh, there's some old curtains. Oh, you can see. Oh, the whole ceiling's gone in here, but it's all cleaned up. So yeah, this definitely was closed long before the facility closed, and they came in and cleaned some stuff up. But there's still some old original curtains. Oh, oh yeah. Here's the. This is above where we came in with all the water damage. So comb. Yeah, that whole floor is falling apart. See the, the grating. And these, let's see. Storage. More so, oh, here's a the fire hose. That's cool. A little fabric fire hose. On the reel. But these look like rooms. That one looks like storage. But all these doors. Oh yeah, these are individual rooms. They're tiny. You can see padlocks. Pe peeling off. Definitely older. Grace. 
Grace had a very small room with bars on the window. And a padlock on the outside. It's like all these rooms. You could padlock them in. Every room was a different color. Yellow, green, this one's blue. Okay, up to the next floor. Old light bulb. So much peeling paint. They were doing some new construction in here before it shut down. Huh. Another kind of day room type thing with all the heater, registers on the side. Ceiling has come down. Definitely holes all in the ceiling. Don't want to go too far in. It looks like the floor is pretty soft. Oh, there's another bathroom. You can see the ceiling damage. You can actually, you can see straight up to the sky there. Let's go back this way. Right, this is where we came up. Across here first. This building is kind of like a T shape. I think this is above where we came in. So that floor is definitely soft and falling in. Another day room, another bathroom. Pretty much just like the others. Oh. No hose in this one. The back side of where they were doing some sort of construction. Oh, oh, it's a porch. Oh, wow. Gotta be careful because make sure security is not coming by. Oh, wow. That's really cool.
if we can't stay out here too long. Drop down a little bit. Oh, I can see in the attic and all the way through the roof. So this, this building is going to get really bad really quick because all these floors are wooden. Which means they're going to start rotting and falling apart. Right, so it looks like these upper floors are more storage and oh, bathrooms, not housing, because everything has shelves and doesn't look like they were actually rooms like the ones below. Yeah, so maybe this was, well, it's probably originally rooms. But then they started using it for storage or administration. So maybe this is where they handed out meds. It's plywood on the outside. Oh, oh really, really old electrical. basement to get out of here. space. Not creepy at all. Yep, yep, yep. Oh. All right. Here's our way out. All right, we are out. out. And now we just have to get back across the whole facility and out. Thank you.